Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another Battlefield 3 video. Now this time we're playing a bit of Rush back on Endgame DLC. If you haven't got it, go ahead and get it. And I wanted just to see a lot more of Rush. I wanted to see how different it is from Conquest. I've always been a huge, huge fan of Conquest and 80% of the time I always play Conquest just because it's a lot more bigger maps and it's a lot, a lot more options for you to flank and do this and do that. And it's just for me that was just always my favorite but lately i've been getting into uh, into rush and I, I wanted to see if there's a huge difference between conquest and rush and i don't mean gameplay wise i mean um map wise i just wanted to see what it is because i remember in bad company 2 one of my all-time favorite maps used to be laguna presser and i played that for about three four weeks once the game came out and uh, I remember starting playing it on rush and i spawned on some guy and i'm thinking where the hell am i i didn't even remember where i was because the map was so much different and so much new areas have been unlocked every time you uh, every time you play there on Rush and I really enjoyed that and I'm really hoping that in Battlefield 3 it was going to be the same but it's not really that much of a difference there is a little bit but not much so it's pretty much the same so uh, without further ado I'd like to let you guys know that you could be winning a gaming headset and a gaming mouse in this video I'll stick a link in the description so you can see the mouse you can see the headset. I'll let you guys know what you need to do a little bit later on. Now, in the previous video, I asked you guys what you want to see in Battlefield 4. And I never really gave you my top what I want to see. Because I just wanted to see what you guys want to see. Now, I'll give you a couple of examples of what I want to see. One of the first things what I want to see in Battlefield 4 is the destruction coming back. Every single Battlefield game I remember playing, you could put C4 in the building. You can blow it up with an RPG. And it'd just be blown to smithereens and it'd just collapse and that was it. Nobody was safe inside a building because you could not be safe inside a building. And I really, really hope that comes back to Battlefield 4. One of the other things I'd really like, if imagine you're playing Operation Firestorm and you know it's a desert map. At some point, what if you have a huge sandstorm just all over the place, you can't see in front of you for a couple of feet... It's just for a couple of minutes. It's just going to be madness. I really hope that would happen. Or you play in a snow map and it's going to be a huge blizzard. Snow everywhere. It just, it, it really cool. A any kind of map. Thunder, lightning, that sort of stuff. Some really cool weather effects. I really, really would like to see that happening in Battlefield 4. And I know it's not impossible for him to do. But I really hope that at some point that makes it into the game. Now, one of the other things I really want is obviously I want the same as you guys want, which is going to be the suppression, the sun, and that sort of thing. And just a bit more balance to uh, to the classes and stuff like that, because as we know it, the assault class is above everybody else. It's got the best guns, you've got a med kit, you've got an M320, you've got an X-Bow, you've got a whole variety of weapons, and you do have the best weapons with a class, so... Unless you have the jump on somebody using the assault, or he can't aim, or something like that, then is more more or less he's got of a chance of shooting you instead of you shooting him so i really want that balance to come back i really want the recons to be recons again i remember playing bad company 2 and this, this brings me back to the russian sniper again is one of my subscribers every time i posted a video in bad company 2 i used to be on the russian side and i also always used to be a sniper because i really enjoyed playing it. it was a really good class to play with if you really paid attention you, you really gave it some time to get used to and learn it and stuff like that and one one of my subscribers said hey the russian sniper is back on the battlefield and that's how we all started but overall i'm really looking for a class balance that's really one of the most important things that you don't have useless classes such as recon as it is now i'm not saying it's completely useless because you have the mav you have the ability to spot for your teammates you do have a couple of things to put beacons if you're playing rush and conquest and stuff like that and get them uh, get your team spawn behind it but as it is these days there's not a lot of team effort going into battlefield 3 everybody's out for himself and unless you're playing with friends and you're playing as a good squad and stuff like that then you're not really nobody really cares if you see what i mean and i really want a little bit more team focus next time i i hope commander comes back i hope two seater jet come in i hope we we saw that in the, the single player you do have the ability to play is in a two-seater jet so i really hope somehow that makes it in how will it work i don't really know i mean do you have somebody manning the main gun the mini guns you have somebody manning uh 
like a TV missile or guided missile or something like that? Would you have somebody just manning the rocket pods? Would you have two sets of flares? Again, that's going to be a huge issue to have because that's the reason they took out the flares from the chopper. I know uh, some of you, if you remember, used to have two uh, two sets of flares. You used to have the gunner and the pilot having two sets of flares. So you could have an EC jammer and flares. Making it extremely difficult for you to take out a chopper. Now, you could always just lock it with a javelin and try and take him out. But a jet is going to be a lot, lot harder since the jet can just simply just climb up. Stay up there four, five hundred meters up into the air, and it's going to be more or less impossible for you to take him out. But I guess time will tell what's going to be happening in Battlefield 4. And like I mentioned in the previous video, I really hope there's going to be an alpha at some point in the summer so we we can test it, we can try it, and see a little bit, and hopefully give them a bit more feedback and get stuff worked the way we want to. I am going to share the video with Battlefield if they're going to watch it or not. That's entirely up to them. But I really hope that they go through a couple of comments and read them and they go, okay, well, this is what the majority wants, this is what the community wants, let's get something done, let's meet in the middle of something, let's do something about it. And I really hope that is the case and that really happens. Now, getting back into the giveaway, the link in the description for the mouse and the keyboard, all you've got to do is tell me what you want above or else in Battlefield 4 and give the video a like, simple, that's all you've got to do. And that's it. I'll leave the video out for about a week. I'll contact you via YouTube. I'll send you a PM. If you don't, uh, <clears throat> if you don't reply within, say, a couple of days, three days, I'll message you again. Sometimes I've had, uh, I've had instances that people have not received the message, or somebody sent me a private message and said, "Hey, man, I sent you a message a couple of days ago. You never replied." That's because I never saw the message. Uh, not because I've got too many messages or anything like that. It just never came through. I just did not see it. So uh, I will be messaging you again, just in case you didn't see that message. Say, hey man, you've won something. Give me an address and I'll just go ahead and post it to you. That's about as simple as that. So that's kind of my little predictions for Battlefield 4. That's what I really hope to see in multiplayer. I, I really hope a couple of more things, but like I said, I'll make a couple of more longer videos and I'll let you guys know a little bit more of what I really want to see. But overall, that's kind of the one of the most important things that I like to see in Battlefield 4 and that's, I really hope some of that comes in. So we're coming up to the end of the video. Just before we go I'd like to let you guys know that I have started playing some old school Battlefield games and I will be posting some footage of it. Some old school troll a with some great laughs into them. And you gotta remember that even in back in World War 2 you still had C4. Well it's called TNT but still it do pretty much the same thing as the C the modern C4 does these days so you can still have a bit of fun on the battlefield that's regardless of what battlefield you're playing you can still have a bit of fun with C4 or TNT whatever it's called so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one Russian sniper out <laughs>